Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are here at the Toolbox Finale. We're at College Pines. It's me, Chu, Andy, Jorge, the boys. We've just finished the fifth, we're on the sixth now. I'm going to film some shots. I'm going to talk about our experiences over these last six months. It's going to be a lovely reflective day, isn't it lads? It is. Isn't it lads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be a lovely day. <laughs> <It'll be> lovely <laughs> day. <laughs> So if you've watched one of these before, format of these toolbox finales is we do a game called Sixers. So first up it's me and Jorge versus Andy Chubert. Current state of affairs in the match? One down. We're one down, there's one all left to play for me and George. So and then we're gonna chuck balls up again and then it's either gonna be me and Andy or me and Chu. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Perfect. Is here, my mate. Oh, oh don't eat it. Don't eat it. That is a one-up victory, for, unfortunately, for you and Mr. Andy Loman there, isn't it? So, me and George battled hard for that, but we just didn't have enough on that first game. So, let's re chuck balls up. Well, who's pulling the lead out? Well, he's someone that, aren't we? Leave mine out. Okay. Lovely. So, these closest two are playing together next, and it needs to not be me and you, doesn't it? So, yeah, so I'll set mine out. Have you got your ball? Thank you. Done it. Oh <laughs> shit, yeah, let's just chuck them all up and see how it comes out again. Then do Kirkland and me, me and Andy next. Beautiful. Catch. Me and Georgie boy. Okay. Turned up. Beautiful. Next game. Right, Mr. Lowman, uh, we're here on the, is this the 8th hole, ninth hole, something like that? Ninth. Beautiful. Uh, you just made a cracking par there on the 8th. Thank you. Overall, how would you describe this experience? Has it been a good one? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I've dropped five shots off my handicap. Uh, got to play plenty of golf, which is always a bonus. Com more confident with every part of my game. So yeah, job's a good one. That's a proper like PC answer that you just gave them. That was quite nice. Have you been rehearsing that all morning? Yeah, mate, all morning. <laughs> I have not paid him to say that. <laughs> but I can like confidently say now, whenever we play, I think you're like mega competent off at tee. I would say that your driving's been your most improved part of your game out oh, of everything. I mean, where I play at Waterfront, every tee shot we're out of bounds, it was three up tee. Yeah. We out of down then. Not to brag, but nearly drove that, didn't I? Yeah, you did. You actually did. Uh, and then all other parts of your game, uh, you've developed these skills in terms of like shot shaping, stuff like that. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it was just one shot, if it hit well, I were happy. Um, it didn't fade, throws, little stingers and that. Let me. Wicked. Right, I'll come back to you because I've, I've got another like reflection question for you a little bit later on. But thanks nice. mate, that was very good. You answered them questions beautifully then. George, how has this six months been for you? How have you found it? Pretty good to be fair. Uh, started off 17, 18, got down to nine. Start, mate, the start of the season was outrageous as well, yeah. wasn't it? You proper hit ground running. Better than better than other two, I would imagine. So, on back of that, we've pretty much worked on everything. Uh, the toolbox suggestion kind of covered all bases, learned different types of shot, obviously improved your general play kind of stuff as well. from whatever really. I think we found the average handicap cut should have been about four, so and that's been about right in the whole series really, so I don't know if I want to make guarantees because obviously with Joe's situation he will like start 
started off an handicap too low, went yeah. up to 15 and it's since come back down to 11. Yeah. So, so it's like you can't you can't really guarantee stuff like that. But it has been it has been good. Like I've seen your your progress for this season. Like so, I'm very excited to get into it with you because knowing what your handicap was at the start of the season and seeing some of the scores you were capable of doing it, yeah. it were an easy win for me. You know what I mean? So, but but it's been mint like you said, helping you just develop different parts of your game. And he seems to be a lot more rounded golfer now than yeah. what he was when we first started. So. Really good. Do you know what session I, stands out to me? I know we, me and you were talking about this as well, but do you remember the short game session where, where I just watched you for yeah. an hour? It was absolutely unbelievable that. You were just hitting like flop shots. 14. Around 14 green at Ickleton, weren't it? Yeah. Just hitting flop shots. You were like, I, I was putting you in some horrible lines and every shot was just like three, four foot, weren't it? Killed me on path though. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, we played the 100 foot game, didn't we? And you had 14 shots, something yeah. like that. Still good as anyone's done that. 14 on 14. Yeah, mega. Back the back shortly. So, how have these past six months been for you? Yeah, they've uh, been really good. What I like about it has been is we identified my my badness my weaknesses apart from the whole entire game but my short game really worked on my short game and it's come on leaps and bounds so yeah that's where it's gone i think out of all three uh, of you the most improvements anyone's seen has been you and your short game out of any part again because we talked about andy and his driving yeah and that's come on loads but your short game it's, it's gone from probably being like you said a weakness to definitely a big strength now hasn't it i've always i've always won most improved trophy the trophy that no one wants that's annoying because that was me as well when <laughs> i used to play footy but no short game has come on massively and, yeah uh, handicap drop wise oh no we found what you were doing yeah. with that you were off like a bit of a false handicap to start with yeah so false handicap of 11 to start off with but that's when you first put in scoring i think more of a reflection i would have been about 15 and now i think i'm solid 11. did you get up to nearly 50. yeah you yeah. did roll up to that again uh, it, and then we've got it back down to currently low 11s very good, very good. Uh, push so, for yeah. single figures next year something like that that's what i'm pushing for uh, you yeah. can easily do it i think you've got like your ball striking yeah. short game now just silly errors which is just me maybe more course management stuff now so if ever yeah. we do out in future it's going to be more course based and Definitely. and cut out them uh, like brain parts like you said so yeah wicked if you were to revisit these six months again what would you do different I won't sign up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you do much different? I don't think I would, to be honest. Like one of one of the best things I think that's helped you get as good as what you have during this process has been all your practice time because you've been like very dedicated to it, haven't you? Yeah, I mean I've uh, been lucky that I can practice pretty much every day, so it has helped. I have been playing some good golf, just not today. It's not really turned Hey, up. we haven't really, any of us haven't really covered ourselves in glory today, but like we, we said at the start, it's about, it's about reflecting this today. This is it, this is it, yeah. Uh, what There's better say? golf to come, and that's what's important. Do you know what I felt like through the six months? I felt like uh, we were doing a lot of good stuff and not really seeing the like fruits of your labour, and then it last month, month and a half, it's proper clicked into gear, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, really, it's all starting to come together at the same time. I mean, my irons were good, and my driver weren't, and my driver were good, and my wedges weren't. You know, it's all just been on and off, but last couple of weeks or so, it has all clicked. My scores have come down. Any, so, yeah. any special shots in the last couple of weeks of note? I don't know, I mean... A little all in one? An eagle and an all in one back to back. <laughs> Other than that. I don't like talking about it though. <laughs> We just spoke off camera about potential things. Um, well, what George would have done different. What did you say? Uh, just basically creating a log of kind of what we're doing, like an itinerary. Yeah. To take off all the stuff what we've done and make sure we cover everything. 
we spoke about this about three four weeks ago and all didn't yeah. we so and that's that's really good for me because that's now given me ability to uh, i've just set on three new guys of a winter toolbox and we've actually got an itinerary so it's been really good and we found that with all the three guys this year we've managed to get through everything that's on the checklist and a little bit more as well which is yeah. a nice bonus so so yeah appreciate the feedback as ever mate <laughs> well, as the match goes, go on then, shut me on. Brother, brother, I'm sorry to let you down, brother. Yeah, you have been like that. Hey, don't be like that. I have been black death today, so games-wise, uh, me and George lost the first one. He then turned his back on me and beat me with Chew. In the second one, he beat me and Andy. And then that third game there, George has just fired one into about two foot from 80 yards. Um, made his four and beat me and Chew. Him and Andy have beat me and Chew to finish. So I've gone from at the start of the day never really losing one of these before, these uh, six games at Toolbox Finales, to losing every one today. Uh, would you do anything differently? Um, yes. Um my own part really, quite a busy man, I've committed to it a little bit more than what I have done, if I've committed to it a bit more, <laughs> if I've committed to it like I did on that short green basis I think I'd have come on even further, um, unfortunately I couldn't, so if you are thinking about it, commit to it fully and uh, I think you'll get even more out of it than what I did, which is, that, is a lot. Is that like from an organising sessions basis or? No, that's just my, me, busy man. You know me, Jack. You are. You've got um, many fingers in many pies. Many pies. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, um, not from an organisational basis. That's just thing I would do differently. I'd so like a bit more range sessions in between lessons and stuff like that? And yeah, yeah. Rather than just going home after work, I would have gone to the range and practice a little bit more. But that's, that's all I would have done differently. Really. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah.